Hey everyone, so I got another product from Nostalgia. I got the waffle maker this time. You can make uh, different types of waffles, cinnamon roll waffles, brownie waffles, all kinds of stuff. Uh, you can use your imagination with it. Uh, this, so this is my fourth product from them. I picked this one up from Walmart as well. It was about $8 or $8.97, I think. My eight-year-old, she's pretty excited. She's actually gonna do some of this with me. And we'll go ahead and pull this out. So we got our normal manual, of course. And then we got our cute little waffle maker. I chose the teal color. They had this one and I think it was, uh, they also had a pink one as well. I guess I could have got the pink one since it's more for my daughter, but we both agree that we like this color. So we got the manual, usually has some different recipes in here. Uh, it gives you how to operate it, uh, pretty easy. It's got different types of waffles. Uh, you can always take a look into that, see if any of these you want to do. Cinnamon waffles as well, uh, or cinnamon roll waffles. Pretty much just get store-bought cinnamon rolls and stick it in there and turn it into a waffle. I'm not going to do that. But I do like these little machines. I think they're cute. My daughter, she's been using the sandwich maker and the, and the griddle lately, so she loves them. And I have a full-size waffle maker, actually. However... The last time my eight-year-old used that, that it turned into a disaster, so I don't let her use that one anymore. It only takes a couple minutes to get heated up, and of course we're gonna spray it with some butter spray. I do recommend spraying them. They say it's non-stick, but depending on what you use, it can stick. We learned that with the with the eggs and the cheese and stuff. And I got a, it's a Cap'n Crunch, like berry-tastic, waffle and uh, pancake mix that we put together we'll let this cook for a couple minutes after a couple minutes i'm going to go ahead and check on it i'm going to give it just a little more time now, it takes a little while if you want a crispy waffle at least with these uh, but if you want to do you know softer waffles this is perfect uh, it, they're also a little more pliable, so you can even do like waffle like tacos for breakfast. You can fill them up with eggs and stuff. I'll go ahead and do another one here. And we'll do a couple other things as well. All right, this one's looking pretty good here. I put a little too much, but not too bad. go ahead and let it heat back up a little bit and those waffles did not last very long so now I'm gonna do like an egg and hash brown waffle we're gonna start out with some eggs get them whisked together Add just a little bit of milk. Milk helps your eggs be a little bit fluffier. We're going to add some cheese. salt some fresh ground pepper and we're going to add in some hash browns I'm just using some dehydrated hash browns that I rehydrated uh, you could also make your own, of course, and then you could buy like those green bags of the hash browns in the store that are already cooked. Or, well, they're not already cooked, but they're, they're partial cooked. This is what I had on hand at the moment, so this is what I'm going to use. Just get everything mixed up together pretty good. And this here, this will make you quite a few as well.
Add a little more salt and pepper just because it's a larger mixture. We all know that potatoes takes quite a bit of salt. When you got that nice and mixed up, we're going to get the waffle iron ready here. I get annoyed by messes, so I got to clean those up. We'll go ahead and we're going to spray it again. Get a good little uh, scoop full of it. And we're going to turn this into a waffle. And after a couple of minutes, we're going to check on it here. Looking pretty good. It looks just like a waffle, but it's made with eggs and uh, hash browns. Go ahead and get another one going. This actually cooks quite a bit quicker than the than the regular waffle. Kind of an all uh, meal all in one, and that that waffle didn't last very long. My eight year old came and snatched it up. So it's a winner for her. She likes this. Go ahead and do another one here. A couple minutes later, it's looking pretty good. We'll go ahead and pull this out. Now we're going to go ahead and do something else. I'm going to let this heat up a little bit or reheat. I'm going to spray it down. So we're actually going to make a uh, fudge brownie waffle. That's an idea for to make a dessert. So this ended up being a little messier. I put a little too much in there. And it's a little hard to play with here. Uh, I probably should have done more of a cake brownie. I'm going to give it just a little more time. Yeah, not quite there. All right, being the fudge brownie, it's still a little soft, uh, a little hard to kind of get out of here. So we're just going to plop it over. I think the cake brownie will definitely be easier in this. Anyway, that's uh, my demonstration of using the little My Mini Waffle uh, cooker. Works pretty well. You can do breakfast, lunch, and even dessert with it. Anyway, thank you for stopping by. Subscribe, like, comment below.